Oh, another beautiful day in the cherry grove. Huh? What was that? That sounded like a person. Was it coming from over here somewhere? Hello? Oh, hello? Yeah, I'm broke. This is Ruby Hollow. Uh, sure. I'd love help with that. That's no problem. I can get some crops together. We don't actually have much yet, but we can make an area to expand. Also, I wonder, Quinta said her family was here. I wonder where they are. Oh, hello. And, oh, there's someone over there. We can say hi to them later, but let's get on with the day. I was really wanting to make a path between our starter house and this house. So we will do that and make a little wheat and carrots area. Cause so far all we have is this. It's barely enough even to feed me, let alone a bunch of hungry cows. I was thinking maybe we do it so that this little tunnel leads to some crops. We have this kind of bare area here. I think this will be perfect. As for the path, I was thinking maybe concrete powder. And we'll mix that in with coarse dirt and maybe path blocks. So if we're starting from our doorway, we can go up here. And then we'll come up and along here. This actually feels like a weirdly important decision. Paths kind of tie together the whole area and affect the look of it. In my last series, I went for mostly grey. I think that's usually my go-to. Although we have done this kind of thing as well, and I think it'll suit it here. Yes, I actually really like this because I think brown and pink go together really well. So with that in mind, let's finish this up. I love that now we can scatter these tiny little flowers into the coarse dirt as well. It's going to be so cute. Now I definitely am out of blocks and don't have enough to extend it over here, but that is okay. Let's just make our little crop area. And I think we can make this one quite pink. So let's have posts like so. Then we will add the water, add the crops, and fence it all in and decorate. And now we are all done here. We're just waiting for the crops to finish growing so we can finish this little corner. Why am I jumping on it? Maybe don't do that. And we're also waiting to gather more so we can trade them. And speaking of crops, I've also been growing some sugar cane because we want to make some books and bookshelves soon. Both because there's new bookshelves in the update, but also I thought it'd be nice to get an enchanting set up. And lucky us, we already have a spot for it because a lot of you suggested that we do enchanting in here. I actually have a different purpose for the bottom floor, but I think we can use it on the top floor. And we're not going to have railing or stairs. It's a little bit too cramped. I think I want the bottom floor to be an extension of our storage though, because the rest of our storage is right through here. But there's just a couple of chests where we run low on space, so it'd be perfect if we could come over here. So I think we'll work on that next and we'll get our enchanting set up in. Let's maybe start with seeing how many books we can make. We might need to go get more leather. Okay, we've got lots of paper. And we're about to have lots of leather, I'm so sorry. We also already have a ton of books. Oh, look, it's the new bookshelf. How do you even make it? Oh, it doesn't actually require books. That kind of makes sense, but let's make these for now. Okay, that gave us 11 bookshelves for now, which is a good start. We'll keep collecting leather and paper behind the scenes, but we'll also sort out our enchanting table, which I think we have the diamonds, so we'll just need the obsidian. Oh my gosh, this worked out cute. I also love it here with this glass roof. It's so light and bright. Towards enchanting, our first task is making our very first diamond tool, which is always exciting, a diamond pick. And now we need to use it to go get the obsidian. I think there's a lava pool somewhere nearby. I saw one or heard one somewhere over here. Not that, oh, it's that. How much obby do we need again? Is it four bits? Maybe we should get more and go to the nether today. This is so slow and painful without efficiency. Oh my gosh. Ice bucket challenge. Okay, let's get the rest. That was easily enough for a portal as well, but let's start with this. Our very first enchanting table. Oh, and we have some more bookshelves. Okay, let's add these in. Oh, that makes 14. We need one more. Oh, is it one or two more? I actually don't know. Let's see what it gives us. Oh, unbreaking, always a solid choice. 
I'm breaking three and we actually have the levels for it too. We just got to grab our lapis. Okay, wish me luck. Hopefully it gives us efficiency. Efficiency and fortune. What the heck? The luck is impeccable. And I know that we only have a stone axe right now, but I wonder if it would give us efficiency on a diamond one? A diamond axe. Efficiency too. Oh, maybe we should save up. But at the moment, I'm going to gather some decor to add to the enchanting room and also sort this room out. A little extra storage room. So let's do that. So now our little storage room extension looks like this. And then upstairs we have our enchanting setup. Which I went for very crowded vibes with this one, but I like it. It's cozy. I've also been tending to these crops, although it looks like they need dealing with again. And I started trading with Quinta and the farmers. So we're getting a few rubies. I also just remembered now, I was going to try some of the brand new bookshelves as decor in here. But I think it's kind of full in here. Maybe we'll try it in our bedroom. Let's see, chiseled bookshelf. And then I guess we just need some books. Okay, let's pop them down here and try them out. Oh my gosh, you can pick which slot the books go in. Oh, I like the sounds this makes as well. Wait, where is, there's a pink book. I love this. And the colors are so warm and cozy and pink. Okay, but now that that's done, I think we're gonna move on to nethery things. I've been carrying this obsidian around with me and we haven't been to the nether yet. So I was thinking maybe we could find a spot, make a portal, decorate it, and then go to the nether. We want it to be far away from our citizens over there and any future citizens for safety reasons, of course. Ooh, it might be a bit annoying for us, but maybe we could build it on that island. It'd definitely be safe, it's just kind of far away. I feel like that could be too cute to pass up though. It's a little fire forest island. Okay, let's go grab all the decorative items we'll need and then we'll head over. Okay, I think we are going to decorate it before we light it, just because decorating a lit portal is annoying. And I'm thinking we kind of make it out of stone, but also incorporate cherry blossoms. In fact, maybe we could have it kind of somehow built into a cherry tree. Okay, let's give that a go. If we grow one, maybe somewhere back here. And we just kind of hope it goes in the right direction. Wait, first try, this is actually good. Okay, I like this tree, this tree is cute. And then we'll just kind of continue to try and cover this up. I think that'll work. And then I was thinking of covering the rest of this with these. And we'll add some of them to the other blocks too. Then of course we need to decorate this area around it a little bit more. I brought some big pots so I can go either side. Maybe with a little flowers I've collected from this little island. For the path, I brought a small amount of glazed pink terracotta with us and then we'll fade it into something else. Am I doing this right? I am. So it should make a cute flower pattern. There we go. So now we have this little staircase leading up, but let's actually light it. Oh, I forgot a block. Okay, we're gonna have to sort that later. Just ignore it. And so here is our finished cherry blossom nether portal. And we do have our gold ready, so let's see what's on the other side. I'm scared. Oh, it's crimson. It's always crimson. Why is it always crimson? And immediately I found one of these. This thing will help us ward off the hoglins. Oh, there's already pigs and hogs. I see you. I'm not gonna lie, I actually kind of love the crimson biome because these trees are so good. And they're gonna go so well with the cherry wood. Crimson is definitely one of my favorites. Oh, that's dodgy. Let's collect these little mushrooms though and go for a little explore. We can kind of try to stay in one direction so that we can get back to the portal. And that might be easier said than done. As usual with the nether. Oh, let's also collect things along the way. We definitely should have brought a hoe. You know, it'd be really cool if we had a bow for this. Why is this guy ignoring me? Hello? This is weird. Strange hoglin behavior. Can you please all just do that in future? Oh, I think we've reached the end of the crimson. I'm not actually sure what we're looking for. Maybe a fortress or maybe just other biomes. We'll get some of this. Oh my gosh, bones. That is definitely something we're looking for. Ah, uh, I see skeletons and hoglins around. And there's a ghast. Okay, we're going to be really quick and just get a little bit. 
Okay, with a few bones acquired, oh, this is so slow on the soul sand. I think we need to get up here somewhere in order to go any further in this direction. Ah, uh, we're definitely in gas territory now. Oh, it's right there. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, there's two. And now there's three. I don't know if you can see that, but there are three. And that is the direction we're going in. Please just, everybody, just despawn. Ow. I feel like I'm getting very lost. What is that? I can't tell if it's a structure. Is it just a bastion? Yep, it's a bastion. We are not going to go there today. <gasps> a bow! He dropped a bow. Oh, is that a fortress? <gasps> okay, you can barely see it, but I think that's a fortress. Oh! Oh! That should be illegal. No. I think we've found a good entrance, this bit over here. Okay, we've got to be careful, but this should be good. Yes. And light it up. Oh my gosh, we don't even have a shield. Okay, we're going to have to be careful. I'm kind of scared. And we have gold. We don't really need any of that. Hello. Hee hee. Oh. Nope. Nope. <gasps> Blazer rod. And I think we've found, yes, near the wart. Beautiful, near the wart. Oh, diamond. And another, oh, more diamonds. Oh, and iron, we can make a shield. So I continued exploring the fortress for a little while and gathering all of the loot. And I'm actually a little bit lost. I'm not sure how to get home the way we came. This is the fortress. Oh my gosh, another ghast. We're gonna try to ignore the ghast, but I found this ruined portal, so I thought we could use it. We will just need to get rid of this. And, oh my gosh, stop. We've got a little bit of obby in our inventory to finish it off, and we can use this. Okay, perfect, and we have a lighter, so let's get out of here. Oh, it's a cave. I have a feeling this means that we're in the ocean. Oh, iron. I think, oh yes, the sky's right there. We are good, oh look at that. We're right next to a sea temple. I'm gonna mark this spot just in case we wanna come back for some reason. Now I guess let's try to find our way home. We are finally home from our big journey. It's so nice to be back, hello Camellia. And our new little storage extension is coming in super handy cause I was able to make a nether chest. But, oh my gosh, you're so cute. I think that is going to be all for today. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.